conference home opener, the Idaho State Bengals men's basketball team had 19 turnovers. Tonight, they look to clean things up against North Dakota. At UND is six and eight overall, one and two in the conference. The Bengals are also six and eight overall, but one and one in the conference. First half, the Bengals are down by eight, and Ali Farig Bay gets the ball and does the reverse layup to cut UND's lead to six. The Hawks would answer right back, though, as Gino Crandall drives and takes the off balance shot for two. Later in the first, it's 22 to 14, UND with the lead, and Ethan Telfair looks like he's direct in traffic, but then he says, nah, I'll take it myself with the reverse layup, and it's 22 to to 16 UND. A little later, it's Telfair again with the pull-up jumper, and UND only leads by four now. And make that the Hawks only lead by one as Telfair feeds the ball to Ethan Lennox, and he hits the tray ball. It's 22 to 21 Hawks. UND would answer back with a three of their own from Corey Baldwin. And moving forward, the Bengals are down by 13, and it's Gino Luz Condo who had a record-breaking night on Wednesday with the reverse layup. And then to close out the half, Luz Condo misses the shot. But Ben Wilson is there to clean it up. They would go into the locker room down 42 to 31. ISU would end up losing the game 84 to 76. They had 14 turnovers in that game. Up. Over to some other men's basketball scores from around the area. Fresno State taken on the Broncos tonight. Boise State won that one 81 to 70. Utah State and New Mexico went at it today with New Mexico winning 77 to 59. And the BYU Cougars hosted San Francisco today. They ended up winning this one 102 to 92.